We have five minutes left. Who wants to see a movie? JD, will you do the projector? Okay. All right, now everybody watch very carefully because this one is all about optical illusions. It comes as a distinct shock to most people when they realize how limited and how inaccurate the human senses really are. In this house, faces at the window seem to come in assorted sizes, don't they? It looks they? like Mr. Povey, doesn't it? <laughs> but uh, there's nothing wrong with the faces. It's those windows and what they're doing to your brain. All right, here we go. A small one and a tall one. Uh -huh. Let's see if we can even things out a bit. Yeah, Temple, sit down, please. That is the question, isn't it? How did they do that? Hmm? Well, that's this week's assignment. Yeah. I want one page, at least. A whole page? All right, two. No, 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 no. All right, one page. You mess up the perspective. That's right, Temple. And it was a room built with distorted perspective. But how? Well, do you think you could figure it out? Maybe if you visualized it? And if you build one, I'll give you extra credit. Yeah, okay. But I can't! No, oh, I know, I know, I shouldn't shout. The measuring perspective didn't work! Success, Temple? No! Give me a clue, please! Um, you have to think of all the features in the room. The walls, the floors, the ceilings, the doors. Got it! You've already gone through this, right? You saw it, David? Well, you can tell us how she painted it. This is what she was working on. It's a strange optical illusion. Well, as you can see, the horses are the exact same size. Oh. And here is the rock. Wow. Temple, congratulations. I think this deserves a round of applause. I think it deserves a celebration. Yeah. Yeah.